so we in, in the last 10 minutes of the news are debate i throw the question on perception once again perception perception which mattered in uh, you know when uh, when the party took the high moral ground december 19th 2010 83rd congress plenary i don't know if you were there mr kesavan i see your hand go up i'm coming straight to you sonia gandhi says I there was must there. no you you understand what she says there is no tolerance for corruption we must confront it she was talking about perception we made ministers resign can bjp do it did she say we will make the ministers resign but quietly before the election we'll bring them back she should have said that no why didn't she say that then arna politics is arna politics is all about perception before i come right to the topic i would like to talk about three points first thing to nirmala sitaraman ji she is a very senior spokesperson but i think uh, you know kindly refrain from being condescending to other people we don't need patrons here condescending and by taking an aggressive posturing and being churlish and yeah and churlish and petulant on a show and making sir. personal barbs won't help you kindly let me complete kindly let me complete have the decency to let me complete i didn't interrupt when you spoke so by in indulging in petulant churlish barbs you will neither help yourself nor your party point 2 with respect to the gujarat issue arnab they conveniently forget that uh, the supreme court had also asked the ombudsman and the amicus curiae to submit a report and uh, that is the report which has been you know basically turned down by a lower court now which is going to be appealed so it is still pending let them get the facts straight third point i want to make about the ordinances before i come back to pawan bansal because are we talking about ordinances or pawan bansal see uh, all of everybody what are you talking about are we talking no, about no, no, ordinances i'm coming back i want to make a very very pertinent point no, you have not addressed the issue I'm at all i asked you i asked you one second about i asked you manish tiwari said in fact manish tiwari himself is upset Manish Tiwari I am told us made it very clear where he stands on these issues Manish Tiwari is begging and appealing your information and broadcasting minister is appealing today to your party and he said you remember what he said when Ch Shashi Tharoor resigned look at Shashi Tharoor a glorious comeback for I Shashi did. Tharoor did he not say when Shashi Tharoor resigned that they resigned on the basis of perception so what happened then no perception let required in make, 2014 let me Definition make one, one point changed. with respect to why know, did the why did so, why did sonia Arnav, gandhi why did Arnav, sonia gandhi drawing, why did let, sonia gandhi allow kalmadi to be removed why did sonia gandhi authorize the sacking of ashok chavan why did sonia gandhi insist on the removal of a raja why did sonia gandhi even to shashi tharoor who she is known to support why did she say that he should go because of perception 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 mr kesavan Let the same me, perception you are avoiding here, today so come I'm, back I'm to the subject i'm asking you a question let me complete here no you're not coming on the subject not at all not at all the we have upheld the highest probability by ensuring everybody resigns when there is an and allegation and bring them back before there the election there is going to be a charge and bring them back before the election conviction. i'm coming back to you no 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 let me complete one point arnab you asked me a question you are taking you're a long time a to come to the main Mr. point uh, you know pa, you know pawan kumar bansal and chawan no 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 i am coming back to the point see you take the case of mr chawan see what happened basically you know he is a former chief don't minister when the cbi wanted to press charges he they had to get a legal no, sanction no, from the government no please don't tell me about complete. chawan i know i know the chawan refused. issue better than you mr kesavan the fact no, no, no. that mr Let's... chawan in the report was no, no. accused of a quid pro quo yeah, quid pro quo was he accused of a quid pro quo Was he accused of a quid pro quo? Was he accused of a quid pro quo? Both the things to be said. Was he accused in, of a quid pro quo? In in was Mr. He, Chavan's case, or was he not? In Mr. Chavan's case, the was CBI said. Was he accused of a quid pro quo? In Mr. Chavan's case, the CBI said they wanted to prosecute. Was he accused of a quid pro quo? But in Mr. Pawan Bansal's case, they very clearly said. He, in Pawan Bansal's case, they very clearly said there is no charge sheet. He there is no yeah, evidence but, to find so him guilty. So what? What is? What is Nirmala Sitaraman saying? We believe you. we be, i'm sure your congress party leaders think that pawan bansal had no idea pawan bansal is a simple innocent man pawan bansal has no idea what is going on in his ministry so what if his nephew comes in so what if in his house deals are being done so what if his name you know he's using his cloud so what if the final authority rests with him pawan bansal just did not know pawan bansal next time you'll argue may not even know which portfolio he holds pawan bansal may think he's the culture Arnab, minister not the you're, railway you're minister still in the realm of speculation speculation Arnab you should have this debate when Mr Pansal has been given a ticket No I don't know he's given a ticket yet why is this bruha ha No 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 bruha he entered Janpat to lobby today he went to Sonia Gandhi's house to lobby today right or wrong Right or wrong 
Tell me honestly. A party worker can meet a pre-Congress president. Uh, and not that's right. So fine. In hyperbole. That's all right. A party hyperbole. worker can meet a Congress president. He's okay. been a former minister. No, I, I'm not saying. You see, we, we, the Pawan Bansal. It, the only question is that of perception. Nirmala Sitaraman hands go went up. And by the way, let me repeat here. And I'm not saying this to provoke you, Nirmala Sitaraman. You have been accused tonight on the news hour of being condescending, churlish, and petulant by the Congress person, Mr. Kesavan. Your turn to respond to him. Um, first thing, I did not even take his name, but I will certainly have the, uh, being a co-panelist, right to rebut, especially when he turned out wrong facts. And when he tried to pay recover by saying, oh, no, no, you know the ombudsman, he's not an ombudsman, he's an amicus curiae. And that amicus curiae's report, all of us have amicus debated Cure, a number of that, times, please. was a part of the SIT, and then it went over to the lower court. The lower court went to the uh, closure of the case. The complainant has decided to go against uh, the court's decision. All that is laid bare. But when you speak, therefore, speak of the specifics. Oh, there are lots of appeals, and therefore, you know, you never know when Mr. Modi is also going to go to the jail. That's not what he said. This kind of a insinuating, generalized statements cannot be accommodated, is what I said earlier, I'm and I'm now saying it again. Please. As a spokesperson, I only wanted to remind him that he go on facts rather than anything else. If he's feeling as though, you know, I've taken a personal barb at him, I'm sorry, I don't know what makes personal, I've not even uttered his name. Whereas he did now, now that he's done it, I'm therefore saying, Congress party be clear as to what is it that they're conveying in these kind of messages. They do not want to clearly explain what is happening about their corrupt ministers on whom charges may or may not be framed eventually. Because we know the extent to which institutions are being misused. Ministers who are supposed to be facing questions are not even subjecting themselves. I'm glad you remind all of us about Burari meet in which Mrs. Sonia Gandhi had spoken a lot about corruption. And in that very meet, the Prime Minister himself had said, I'm willing to come and face inquiry, face the, you know, JPC or PAC, which he unfortunately has not been done till today. Whereas I'd like to contrast here, and that probably even addresses Hartosh Bals' uh, point. Modi went through a nine-hour session no, no. with the CBI. Especially the, the, the so, SIT appointed investigation. Therefore, none of us are running away from... Nirmala Sitaraman, I'm sorry. Nir no, no, Nirmala Sitaraman, Hartosh will respond to that. not have that coming from no, no, the No, no, Nirmala Sitaraman, I'll respond to that. No, no, Nirmala Sitaraman, I've heard you, I've heard you there, but you know, I'll tell you. I'll huh? tell you. Nirmala Sitaraman, yeah. I, I, you know, please. Nirmala Sitaraman. Yep. Rajnath Singh. Yep. Okay. Rajnath Singh, Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi. Had a round of meeting. Okay. With Abhay Singh Chautala. Younger son of INLD chief Om Prakash Chautala over the weekend. There is talk you will embrace the INLD into the NDA. You don't care. You don't care. You don't care at all that the party leaders are convicted in the teachers recruitment scam. That they are awaiting their petition, challenging their conviction, their conviction from the Delhi High Court. So I'm not on my favorite subject of Yadu Rappa, but look here Chautala. How, what a wonderful alliance. Does perception matter for you? You're doing a tie-up with a party whose party chief is in jail over a conviction in a teacher's recruitment scam. Come on, Nirmala Sitaraman. We're only talking perception tonight. Not perception conviction, perception. No, on no, perception, you're weak. Oh, no, in no, fact, no, no, Chautala is convicted. Chautala is convicted. Bansal is not even convicted. He's not even, he's not even an accused right. in the case. He's only a witness. So, there you are. That's right. That's right. I'm not engaging in a two to two to me me. I agree perceptions matter. So Chotala? Uh, I'm sure the party is seized of it. No, that's what I'm saying. The perceptions matter. The party is seized <laughs> of it. Let's see what You're comes out of it. You're being diplomatic. And much before I close, You're being as diplomatic. a party Again. person, I will remind you. RJD, diplomatic. Lalu Prasad Yadav, who was in the jail, Congress has no inhibitions talking and you have probably even questioned them. Arana but when it comes to, to us, no, I'm Every saying that. The question will come much before anything. I'm even, saying, I'm saying, no, one minute, one minute. One, 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 can I just so make just one put point? It in the no, context. no, Mr. Kesavan, I give the last word to Artosh. I give, okay, you want to rebut? 30 seconds to rebut. Yes, then Artosh will have the last word. No, one point. Arnab, talk about. Uh, Arnab, talk about Kameshwar Baitas from JMM, who's been accused of 53 criminal cases and killing 17 Javans. 
They have inducted him on, you know, in the lab. in March in. Uh, what about DSC. Kalmadi? Do I have an answer for that? What about Kalmadi? You have an answer for Kalmadi? You are confused no, no, about Kalmadi. Kalmadi, 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 Kalmadi has not been given a ticket. He's like been inducted. What about Chawan from, 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 from the party? Who Galinder Rahul Gandhi from the party? He has been suspended from the party. You you look at what Mr. Chitra Gachri said. Kalyan, what about the Reddy brothers? What is Sushma Swarajji? You have given a immunity. What is Sushma Swarajji? Sushma Swarajji has raised the issue of Reddy brothers. Sushma Swaraji has the issue of race, the issue of Reddy Brothers in the election See committee. Da. People are keeping mum. What did Sitara Mechiri say? It's a deadly cocktail of communalism and no, you know, corruption. When mom, you're Kalyan Singh and Yadurappa. They keep mum on Yadurappa. They keep mum on Reddy Brothers. They keep mum on, you know, Kameshwar Baitas. Please give an answer. Hartosh Singh Bal, will I'll they get the answer. ticket tomorrow? What you, do you, you think, Hartosh? You listen to the answer for a minute, Mr. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I need to close this, Nirmala. Person, please Arnab listen to this. Nirmala. Show you committee report indicted Arnab. Sheila Dixit. Arnab, if I may say what I have to say at this point, the governor to get out. Hartosh. That is enough for you. Hartosh, will Bansal get the Arnab. ticket? Your hunch. If you... Well, I think if they keep paying attention, if the Congress is stupid enough, that means they have foregone the lessons of the last three years. They are in this dismal shape because they have not paid heed to public perception. Perception, exactly, exactly. But they seem suicidal, so they might still do so. You think and so? And I also want to point out something about what Ms. Narmala Sitharaman said. Nine hours of kid glove questioning by SIT, Nirmala. which is why Narendra Modi is not willing to face even nine minutes of questioning by a skeptical journalist anywhere in the country. We, we, everyone's in line. Not at all. He sat in the CA conclave. No, no. We'd like to do an interview as well. Nirmala Sitaraman, our application <laughs> is pending. Not. One second. You can I'll put in a word. Message, now, here you he are. Nirmala CA Sitaraman. Conclave. Journalist question then. No, no. We'd like an interview. Nirmala Sitaraman, we'd like an interview. Nirmala Sitaraman, Mr. Kesavan. And Hartosh Singh, but perception matters. We'll know tomorrow if Bansal gets the ticket. If Bansal doesn't get the ticket, that means Congress believes perception matters. If Mansal gets the ticket, then maybe perception is dead. We wait for tomorrow. And tomorrow is a big day. We'll know if Jaitley is contesting the elections. We'll know if Subramaniam Swami gets a ticket. I mean, Nirmala Sitaraman has been... Your name has been doing the rounds for a big ticket on your party. I don't know. So tomorrow is the big day. BJP Lok Sabha tickets round two. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for debate number three on the news tonight.